Hello, hello, I am Ruby Burrito, and welcome to today's video. I made a video a little while ago about different outside tools that would be pretty helpful for playing Guild Wars 2. And today, I wanted to focus in on Guild Wars 2 efficiency. So, Guild Wars 2 efficiency is something that I've been using for quite some time and I use it in a lot of different ways so this is actually going to be an introduction to a small series at least that's the intent and today I'm going to focus on the more helpful and useful tools that efficiency has so let me pull up my Guild Wars 2 efficiency so that we can take a look okay so the way Guild Wars 2 efficiency works is you add your API key, which you can get from the guildwars2.com. You log in and you grab your API key there. You decide what you want to share, and then you create your account here and go from there. So there's a lot of tabs up here that you can see, and... This is the main page. So if I just go to efficiency, this is where it'll take me. So you have account, currencies, this is a lot of what you can see at the top here. So if you go to daily, this is a checklist for a whole lot of different daily stuff. So when Super Venture Festival is going on, you have all these dailies. Uh, daily Dragon Bash, Roller Beetle, End of Dragons, Festival of the Four Winds. There's a lot of daily information here. You can actually see I did triple trouble today. So you, I, it, it automatically checked that off for me. Not all of them automatically check. I finished all of my daily World v. World items today. So you can click these and you can see that five of 328 dailies has been done. And I can hide the ones that are done, go from there. So if you collapse all of them, you can kind of see what you're looking at now if you go to account there's a whole bunch of stuff i'm going to run through them relatively quickly so that we aren't dealing I, I don't want to take too long to go through this but the overview gives you your account value where that ranks in the leaderboard liquid gold liquid buy which is if you liquid gold sell sorry liquid gold buy which is if you sold everything that is sellable on your account at a sell price or a sell listing in the trading post compared to a buy listing so if you just sell it instantly that would be the buy listing and then you have a whole bunch of different metrics here all of your characters come to the bottom and then next from the overview you can go to characters you can order by playtime profession race birthday the next birthday present which is useful if you're trying to figure out when that's going to be level name agony resistance is also useful for fractals and quite a few other things you can sort by discipline it's helpful to find guilds is an overview of all of your guilds uh, speaking of which i'll that was jealous iron hammer talking to me in the back i'm gonna just plug the guild here for a moment we are actually recruiting for the guild if you're a new player and looking for a community i'm trying to build one up so or if you're a veteran everybody is welcome and we're just trying to Take this time to build a, an in-game community. Uh, PvP shows you your current league rating, all of your league history. You can see I have not played in a lot, and I typically end up in gold when I do. Um, mostly play a necro. So uh, that's, that's a thing. Uh, achievements is useful for tracking what achievements. In my account, uh, this, this is not typically where I go for looking at achievements, but... It is a place to look at all of the dailies, the character adventure guide, which I wouldn't go here for that because that's character specific, but there's quite a few, quite a bit of achievement information. This is a farming tracker. If you hit start, it will track changes to your account and tell you how successful you are at farming right now. It gives you a gold per hour, total gold, etc., etc. Time machine shows you a snapshot snapshot change between two points so feb this i'm recording this on february 5th these are the two snapshots it took for me and it shows all of the different things and that's a lot of red especially my shared inventory um because i took my 
gathering tools out. So somebody, yeah, Ruby Burrito down here is going to have them added. You can hide market fluctuations, which will hide quite a bit of this because I have nothing really happened between these times for me. Wallet just shows you your wallet. Same with bank. Material storage is what I use this for quite a bit, actually, because one thing you can do, I usually keep sell price. If you order by, you can do individual price, which gives you the most individually expensive things. But if you go to price here, it gives you everything in your material storage in a descending order by how much you can sell it for. It's a very useful tool when you're trying to build up gold. Shared inventory is pretty straightforward. Legendary armory. I'm going to do a little bit of... Uh, a, this will come back up later because I'm going to be crafting a whole bunch of legendaries. And right now I'm missing 308,000 gold worth, which is quite a bit. These are the two legendaries I do have. These are ordered by value. Wardrobe, same concept. This is just skins, minis, mounts, dyes, recipes... PvP heroes, mail carriers, outfits, finishers, home nodes, home cats, gliders, novelties. It's a way to see all of your unlocks in one place. You can, in all of these, you can change to just showing locked, just unlocked, and there's usually gem store items, include, exclude, or only, bind, there's, there's a lot of different options here. Stats, this is what I'm going to get into for the rest of this mini series because there's some pretty interesting stats in here but if you actually go to account value um you can change your view here which i'll show later but unlock statistics all of those things i showed in account you can go to the unlock statistics here for example i can see the most unlocked achievement is master of heroics and i can go i can click this icon here which is going to the wiki and it will open up what that is reach level 80 cool close that but if i go to locked i showed this killing the annihilator in the silver wastes is the most unlocked achievement that i don't have and you can do that for any one of these categories player statistics is another very interesting area to look and i will come back here but this is info on every character of every person who has gone into inefficiency. Now, I'm going to take this time to say, if I go to the stats and I look here, there's a leaderboard here. I have no idea who any of these people are. All of this is anonymous. I have always told people to make an, a Guild Wars 2 efficiency, make an account, because it's a way to look at your account when you're not in game and it's very easy to just compare everything here uh i'll come back to that in a little bit there's just there's a couple other tabs here dungeon delving it tells you uh, this is basically a tab for currency telling you what to do with each of your currency so dungeon delving spirit shards karma badges of honor gems laurels guild commendations and claim tickets gems just tells you the exchange rates but this tells you what the most profit you can get per item is. Right now, it's Reflective Koi, which makes sense because that's the newest. Trading Post tells you, gives you an overview. You can do a whole bunch more than I ever do here. But I can see what my delivery box is. I've got a, a whopping 30 silver. Timers is boss timers. Dungeons just gives you an in information on all of the dungeons in the game as well as raids and fractals. Not sure what the highlighting is for. Oh, daily tier here. And for dungeons, dungeon frequenter, these are ones that I've, uh, uh, I've finished, I guess. Probably has something to do with how many times I've done it too, um, I guess. Crafting, I don't use it for the dungeons very often. Crafting is pretty good, so if I go to precursors and legendaries, I can see what, if you buy everything for eternity on the trading post at buy price and then sell it, sorry, if, so, okay, so this is a crafting price at buy, this is a crafting price at sell, this is the trading post sell price, if you sell it instantly, you get 615 gold, if you list it at 
4,000 gold and somebody buys it, you net 1.2 thousand gold. So this, it goes down in order of trading post sell. At the bottom here, you can see precursors as well. Not all of them can be sold. A lot of these are better off just buying because this is crafting and then selling. All of these are better off crafted and then sold. These are better off bought. Just a, another really good place to get some, some information. Gathering, this gives you all permanent gathering nodes for all of these different things. You can check all trees, plants, ores, whatever you want to do here. And then the lottery. This is... I mean, you can see here, somebody just won these different items. And then this was December. All of these items were given away in December. I talked about this a little bit in December, but it's it's pretty big. So, if you don't have a Guild Wars 2 efficiency account, I would suggest making one. Especially if you play this game a lot. If you do, hopefully you saw some new way to use it. And in the coming videos, hopefully I can provide a little bit of entertainment based on the usage of Guild Wars 2 efficiency. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for all of the support. If you have been enjoying the videos, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you're up for it. But otherwise, that's going to be it. We'll see you in the next one.